Happy Arvo, and thank you for joining me today on this episode of Ignorant American Learns Things About Australia. And guys, I never said this was a family-friendly channel, okay? Catherine Christie emailed me, a viewer, and said they wanted me to watch this video about an Echidna's penis. What does it look like? I don't even know what an Echidna is. Echidna, duh. Echidna. An Echidna. I don't even know what that is. So I feel a little bit, you know, it's, it seems wrong to not even know what it is and be looking at its junk. But let's see. No. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? It comes out of the mouth? Okay. Was that its tongue? Echidnas aren't aggressive. Echidna. But Got they it. do have an excellent form of defense, which is all of- They're porcupines. Their cool spikes. But when you are a walking ball of needles, how do you actually get your groove on, if you know what I'm saying? So I never thought about that. Sounds like it could be a bit dangerous. That's true. That's a good point. Well, here we've got an Australian echidna. The only one of- Gawar and- Two mammals in the world what lay eggs. God, it's so cute. Huh. What a weird animal. What's so cute? That thing? They are a special mammal. They're a monotreme and they do produce an egg. Egg-laying mammal. The other one what lays eggs is the platypus. This guy knows his stuff. This looks like a sporky, or a, a sporky. Looks like a sporky platypus. And a good feed. So they use their claws to rip holes and then their long and sticky skinny tongue goes in and out really, really- Okay, that is its tongue. Guys, oh my God, I almost left. That's its tongue. Really quickly and that's how they actually- Ho! Really draw all of the ants and termites back into their mouth. If that's what its tongue looks like, and I'm not even here for that, I can only imagine- and his beak yes. is extremely sensitive. It has electroreceptors in it. So as it is going along, it is sensing the electropulses of the muscles inside the invertebrates that it's searching for. It just, it's just check well, have you looked at his spurs? One of the ways Whoa! that we can tell. I'm speechless. Oh, look at the little, is that, is that the little spur? What? Oh, it's much smaller than I thought. So echidnas are monomorphic. That means that from the outside, it's really hard to tell whether they're male or female because they don't have ah. any external genitalia, right? Male echidnas I've seen do some people like that. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Don't joke about that. I'm not joking about it. I'm serious. I just didn't know there was a word for it. Monomorphic. Now I know. You have a spur at the back. And it's sort of like the platypus spur, except echidnas aren't venomous. What's the deal with this spur? It looks like a little toenail. They're much more likely to kill you with cuteness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, he's swabbing it! Oh, for crying out loud. So echidnas have four heads on their penis and they can shoot sperm out of two heads at once, one side or the other. Inside the female echidna, in her... Well, what are the other two for? It can shoot, shoot it out of two at once. What are the other two for? Because there's four. Reproductive system. There's actually like sort of like a Y shape. There's two pockets. So maybe it's sort of like this evolution oh that's happened over time where they go poo and go off to the left. And then in the next Hold time. Up. Sorry, someone was at the door. It's creeping me out. You know, it's 2022. Who knocks at the door? And they go poo and go, the mailman. go off to the right. The whole thing is super Oh, we're weird, watching But it that's again. what you would expect from an egg laying mammal. So, echidna mating trains. I have never seen one in real life. Mating trains. Some humans do this as well. But I've seen lots of videos like this, which basically show a female being trailed by a big group of males. 
There's even reports of there being up to 11 male suitors following one female. Oh, this boy. is a mature female and she's wafting sexy scents all over the landscape as she's going along. Can't help it, she just smells sexy. And as she goes, all of the male echidnas yes. are putting their little beaks up and going, I want a bit of that. But because echidnas are essentially extremely polite animals, they just form a line and follow her around until eventually she's ready to mate. Oh! This would totally be the part where your nana would lean over and put her hand over your eyes. <laughs> After the train goes on for a very long Look away, kids. time and the female is ready to mate, she lays down nice and flat on the ground and then it's sort of like a bit of a fight for who dares wins, you know? It might be the strongest male, the quickest male, the last male standing gets to go in. And what he actually does is digs down beside her and forms a little hollow. And then he moves his rear end in underneath and they mate like this. So he's sort of around the side of her. And that's how he avoids getting spiked. I feel like I need to avert my eyes. I mean, who filmed this? And then what's that third echidna doing? Is he just like... I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. Just watching. Echidnas are... Guys, I don't want to watch this part again. One of Australia's cutest and most... Lady, stop showing that part. Beloved I know that was the whole point of the video, just but... But they... I saw it, I never had to see it again. ...are weird. And it's safe to say that their sex lives do not buck that trend. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, guys, for that. <laughs> no, that was a very fun and quite intriguing. Wow. Interesting animals there in Australia. They certainly evolved on an, in an island secluded, and you can tell. I want to see the difference between this and a pork. Oh my gosh. These are tiny. Wow, this thing would demolish this echidna. Okay. Damn. There you go. That answers that. Um, thank you for watching, guys. And thank you for that video suggestion. I will never be able to get that out of my brain's eye. I'll see it tonight as I sleep, I'm sure. I hope you're having a fantastic Arvo <laughs> and, a, and a good day. And I hope to see her again tomorrow because I'll be here. Hey, and thanks to anybody who checked out my brother and I's channel yesterday. Goodbye.